Hey, let me get a what's happening real quick. What's happening, bruh? <laughs> I'm doing good, I've been staying out the hood Learned my lesson, understood, gotta keep on doing good Them niggas, they don't like me cause I'm so misunderstood I've been praying to the righteous when I'm tired of doing wrong I just talked to Lil Joe over the phone, he coming home Had to slap a Welcome back to another video on the channel My name is Delonte Freeman, this is SMB Fitness And in today's video, I wanna give you the game And not just the body game because that's pretty obvious. We talk about that a lot on the channel. Taking care of your body, taking care of your appearance, because that's the first step. You know, that's the first step to attraction. That's the eye catcher. That's the first thing. But I also talk about the mindset, the spirit. And in today's video, I want to drop some game on you on how you should think and move when operating, you know, and talking to these women. Um, Because it's not just about the body. I made a video titled Body Game Without Works is Dead. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It explains exactly what I'm talking about. Body game without works is dead. See, when you're dealing with a woman, you want to be smart. You want to be clever. And disclaimer, before I even continue going on with this message, this is just a disclaimer. I don't want you to use this for evil um, because this could be taken and used for the wrong reasons. I want you to actually use this to find a wife or to get that woman that you like and not abuse your power by just sleeping with her and you know, just going against what the word of God says, you know, and disobeying our father, Yahweh. I actually want you to take this knowledge and use it to find the right one, the perfect one that you like. But this right here will help you get any woman that you want. Now, let's continue. I want you to be subtle, man. I'm a very smart dude, and I'm not smart because I'm just smart and I was born smart. No, I acquire knowledge. I gain knowledge. I read, right? And the most book or the book that I read the most is the Bible. My favorite book in the Bible is the book of Genesis and it's essentially the creation process from beginning right the beginning the beginning of how everything in life started and there's a story that caught my eye it's the story of Adam and Eve in a garden and it's something about the snake that catches Eve and I essentially I mimic the snake in every scenario in order to catch a woman right I'm very cunning subtle right I'm not forcing myself on you and I'm not, I don't even look like or act like I want anything from you but yet I may like you or find you attractive but it's the conversation it's the questions that I ask that get your mind thinking to the point where you're like hold up this guy is a mystery and it literally catches any woman really attractive or not bro all women will love you <laughs> and and that's what I mean about your, your 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 spirit mind and body right see the body is already attractive physically but when you operating in this mindset that i'm talking about it's an attractive mindset right so you ultimately winning her over not with your looks but with that mind bro see when i was ugly bro and i was never ugly but I, i'll just say it like this before i had these muscles before i had this body before i started actually promoting my body and uh you know just showing my body to the world you know with the shirts off and just showing my muscles before i started doing that before i got a job before i got money this is how i would get them being subtle acting like i don't care about them and not even acting but in a way i'm not rushing anything I realized that, bro, if I want anything in life, it's already given to me. And as a child of God, you'll understand that. Anything that you want is already yours. All you got to do is ask. All you got to do is believe. And that's anything. If God can feed the birds in heaven according to the scriptures, and not even according to the scriptures, but look at life. They're birds, right? If God can keep the birds alive, why can't God keep you alive? So I realized that if I want anything in this life, all I have to do is number one, want it. That's all I got to really do. So I never really force myself on any woman because if I want you, you're going to be mine. And that's the mindset that you got to have when talking to these women. So you talk to her. You put aside trying to close the gap in the distance between you and her, and you take the long and slow approach. You take the subtle route. You take the narrow path. You take the road less travel when dealing with these women. And I'm telling you, this is going to separate you from most men. A lot of dudes in today's society is not afraid to talk to women, and that's great. Kudos to y'all, bro. But then again, you got the other half of men that are afraid to talk to women. 
right? But then you got that one guy who's just very introverted, so to say, and he doesn't force himself on that woman. And it almost seems like he's not really caring about a relationship, although when he goes to his private place, he cares. But he's introverted. He's not forcing anything. He's letting everything just come to him. And that's the oper that's the mindset you got to operate in. Listen, bro, it's going to come. It's going to come. But don't force it. Now, am I saying don't approach? If you got a reason to approach, approach. <laughs> like, like, that's how I think, bro. If I have a reason to approach her, I will. And if I don't have a reason, there will be a time if we're in the same vicinity every single day. Let's say we're in the gym together every single day and I see her. Let's say we're going to school every day and I see her. Let's say we work together and every day and I see her and I see her and, she, and she's in close proximity. Eventually, there's going to be a reason for me to talk to her. So I'll wait on that time. And until then, I keep my head down and keep doing what I do. Act like she don't even exist. I might look at her. I may say hey to her. How you doing? But I keep it pushing. What that does is, man, it makes it seem like you're already a man who's taken. Or somebody who she, like, somebody she has to worry about. Why does he not want me? What is going on in his mind? Does he have a girlfriend? Little questions like that. And once again, especially if you already look nice, these are the things that's going to help you. These characteristics. If you look good, smelling good, uh, you walk with confidence, you, you got a good, loving, kind spirit, and you, you're full of joy, And but you're introverted. You know, you don't always got to smile as a man. Like, sometimes you could just look like how you look and be you in public, and that's okay. You don't always got to keep a smile on your face, but operate in that spirit of joy that's given to you by the Lord. Be very mannerable and respect everybody. But yet don't force yourself on her. And as she's seeing these characteristics, she's wondering what's going on with bro. Because he's attractive, number one. And number two, he operates like this. I like him a little bit. Why does he not talk to me? Why does he not force himself on me? Am I not attractive to him? Am I not on his radar? Then they'll start doing little subtle things to get you to look at them. Little hair flips every here and there. You know, the eye contact. Maybe she'll start coming up to you, talking to you, saying little random things, asking you if you got a pen at the desk, asking you little small things, bro. And you be like, why she just came to me and asked me for that? Or why she just come and talk to me right now? But the whole time, you know why? Because you playing the game and you game and hurt. But she don't even know that she being gamed. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, it works, man. But it's that snaky, subtle approach. See, the scriptures tell us to be wise as a serpent, but as harmless as a dove. I'm very wise. I know how to get her. But I ain't gonna mistreat her. Not gonna have a roster full of females right now. But honestly, between me and you, between me and y'all, me and the viewer, my phone is dry. I can have any female in this world. If she lock eyes with me, bro, it's over with. Consider your girl took. But, but, but because it's me, bro, I ain't gonna do it to you. I got morals, I got character. I got principles I stand on, bro. And if every man operated like this, then every man won't get cheated on. If every man operated like this, then every man will have a wife that submits to them. If every man operated like this, the world will essentially be a better place. But you got so many men out here looking with that lust in their eye and not playing a subtle approach, taking that subtle route. It's discipline, bro. You got to have mind discipline. It works. I do it. <laughs> Any woman that you want, you can have. He who finds a wife finds a great thing. And it's possible. 
but you gotta use what I'm telling you to find it. It's subtle. That being said, man, I got more game, more knowledge I wanna drop on y'all, but I don't want this video to be extremely long. I said what I needed to say without saying what I needed to say. There's a lot more that I have to say. I just don't know how to say it. So in future videos, stay tuned. I will be dropping more game. Not just the body game, but this mind game. You know, the subtle signs of how to get her actually, really, truly, with characteristics and morals. How to run game without her even knowing you're running game. The subtle way. You first got to invest into your mind. Also, you want to be very smart and intelligent. You want her to like you that way. You know? But I'm not going to continue rambling, bro. I'm glad y'all watched it all the way through. And for the people who did watch it all the way through, drop a comment and a like. Leave a like on the video. So YouTube can know, man, that you rocking with this content. Also, man, share this content around and help a brother out. Help a brother reach his goals and his success and, you know, all that other stuff. I'm trying this YouTube thing out. And, I'm, you know, I need some support. The world wasn't built by one man. The world was built by many men. You know? And I'm not expecting it to happen overnight because Rome wasn't built in a day. But yet, the builders and founders of Rome had help. So I'm just asking for a helping hand. You get what I mean? That being said, man, I appreciate you all. Once again, Yahweh Shah, also known as Jesus Christ, the world knows him as, is the way, the truth, and the life. And there's no way to the Father Yahweh except through him. That being said, y'all, I'm out. Peace. Man, don't feel don't feel my audience now. Don't feel the audience. Brev. Don't play with it. Go down, hit it. Come up. Up, 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 up.